Okay, so um, I have a pretty good feeling that I'm not gonna get out of here even. Um, I just realized I have CAA, so I called them and um, they should be here in about an hour and a half. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try and see if I can get myself out. Well, CAA was supposed to be here at like 7.30 and then they just said they're sending somebody from a farther location so they're not going to be here till 8 which kind of sucks because I was hoping they would be here before dark because I have my doubts about them coming down here in the uh... Okay, so update. Uh, the tow truck can't come down the road. He tried coming down here and he sunk. He's trying to call another place there's one guy that can come tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning but he doesn't know how he's if he's going to get down here because uh he can't get his tow truck down here so he might be able to bring i guess a hummer maybe but i don't know I'm running out of options here I'm starting to get a little worried about it such a stupid mistake sounds like it's going to be some custom charge so i'm sure that'll be fun uh lesson learned Expensive one, I'm sure. Well, I'm in the car for the night. I'm gonna wait till 10 o'clock in the morning to see if a guy can get out here. So. All right. Here's where we're at. So. It's over here. So, uh, I can't sit in the car and do nothing. Uh, tow truck's gonna come at 10 tomorrow, so, you know what? I'm gonna dig part of this out. I'm gonna see if I can get underneath the car and um, with the shovel, I'll just reach in there and get the, um, the, the whatever it's hung up on out. I've already found the ground. We're pretty, the tire's pretty much sitting at ground level right now. There's a ton of dead wood around me, so I might just try and uh, put a bunch of wood down there and and slowly see if I can drive out um, I don't know I have a feeling this it's gonna cost me a fortune for this for this guy to come out here if he can't even come out here and then what so I'm gonna get started on this now you know, being out here is all about being self-reliant right so let's see how it goes all right so here's where I'm at so far The snow on the left side is just really is just too soft so it looks like I could drive I could probably drive up that ramp if I just extended it a bit further here but it's not gonna work so what I did was I just laid down here and all that here was all hung up on snow. So now I can see all the way through. So now I'm clear. It sank a little bit when I took that the, um, by the wheel back there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got it all clear. It's a little close right there. So my plan, if I don't get eaten by wolves first, is to I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, wood down right here. I'm gonna cover this whole thing with wood. And then once I get over here, I'm gonna put a couple, I'm gonna put a couple straight pieces and then I'm gonna put some pieces on an angle going up. And then uh, hopefully slowly work my way, work my way up this angle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shave this down a little bit so it's gradual, but. The, uh, it'll start out it'll start out flat flat and then it'll slowly angle up and then I'll just hopefully be able to drive out
So, I think I'm just about done. I want to go get one more log and put it um, back here. I got a little gap between the, the front tire and, and the back there. And then the last step I think is I'm going to take some air out of my tires just for a little bit more traction. Um, and then that's it. I think, I think this here is pretty, it's pretty gradual. And then when it gets up here, it should, maybe I'll put a couple more. Maybe I'll put a couple more things in there. Come this far. Cause yeah, we're going to sink right there. So I don't want to go back in. So I'm thinking if when I, I don't know, maybe I should have dug this out further. But anyways, I want to come up and just ride, ride the corner right here. Let's just take one last look at what we did here. So I think I let a little bit too much air out of the tire, but, um, but really I think what the problem was is this side here, the right side had no traction. So once I, um, I added the, um, once I added the, the mat and then I stuck some sticks in the grooves, the treads of the tires and that was, that actually did it. So um, I was really hoping for a just hit the gas and just pop out all at once, but you know, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Yes. So I just. So when I uh, called the tow truck driver, or he, he called me and told me he he was backing in, and I was like, "Man, you gotta, you got you gotta just come in straight." Um, so, anyways, he was trying to back in, and he told me he got stuck, and uh, this is where this is where he got stuck. So he was. Make it. He didn't make it very far. What's crazy about this whole thing is that I was probably about 10, oh, maybe 10 or 12 kilometers in and I drove in like without even worrying about getting stuck. I walked the trail before I went in, like about a kilometer or two of it. And I was like, oh yeah, this will be fine. It'll be no problem. And uh, I'm, I'm surprised that I didn't go in on the way in. So, um, wow, this is, this, is, uh, this is a lesson learned. Um, you know, for anybody, for anybody wondering why I was on this, this is actually a road. It's a, it's a forestry road. And, um, or it, it used to be, or in the summer, in the spring it is. Um, and when I got to it, it was, um, it was, it was, it looked like it was plowed. It was like, you know, um, 
well, it was groomed. Apparently, snowmobile trails get groomed, and I didn't know that. So um, I looked at it, and I was just like, oh, it's been plowed. It's, you know, it's obviously there's trucks coming down here and, and stuff like that. So I thought it was, I thought it was fine. You know, yeah. I Anyways, got a good story out of it. It didn't cost me any money. It only took five hours of, of shoveling and chopping uh, trees down. And I didn't touch any live trees, all dead stuff. So, all right, let's get out of here.